Before starting the second class, you have to download some files which I have created for you. And the description of the video will be the link of this file. Download it and unzip it in the main folder of Manim. Here you can find all the files that we will use throughout the course. We will start with the number one, that is text format. In order to render scenes which are inside the folder, the format is the same. The difference is that first the name of the folder is written, followed by a slash if you use GNU Linux or Mac, and a backslash in the case of Windows. If at the end of this line you press the tab key, it will display all the files which are in that folder. We can see that the text format file is here, so we write it after the slash or backslash. In case you don't write the name of any scene after the file.py, then the list that we saw at the end of the previous video will be displayed. The scene I want to render is write text which in this case is the number 21. We write it and click enter. This list is very useful in case we want to render multiple scenes or if we can't find a scene in a file. But if you know the name of the file, write it after the .py file. In this video, I will show you another code editor, which is called Visual Code Studio. An advantage of this editor is that it already includes a terminal that can be displayed and hidden very easily. I'll leave the download click in case you want to try it. The terminal is displayed and hidden by pressing the control key, plus Latin quote, or in the toolbar in the terminal tab. We will test this terminal by rendering a scene. First we move to the manim directory and execute the code. We can see that it works exactly like the traditional terminal. You decide if you like it or not. Remember to save the changes before rendering any scene. Remember the structure of a scene, the name, the construct method, and the indentations. In the previous video we said that in the variable self, the objects that are shown on the screen are saved. With the add command, you can add them but without any animation. To animate an object, use the command self.play. Parenthetically write the name of the animation to be used and in another parenthesis the name of the object which that animation is going to be applied. In this case the animation we are using is right, but there are another animations, such as row from center, fade in, show creation, among others.
The next line is a 3 second pause. The command is self that wait and in parentheses goes the number of seconds of the pause. If no number is written inside the parentheses, it is understood that is a 1 second pause. So the structure of the animation is this. First, a text object is created. Then a fade-in type animation is applied to that object. At the end of the fade-in animation, there is a 3 second pause. And so the animation ends. As you can see, the order of the animation is from top to bottom. In the previous video, we said that the scene could not be compiled because it had no duration. If we want to export it, it would have to be like this. We add the text to the screen using self.add, that is, without animation, and then add the 3 second pause. Note how I have converted the self.play animation into a comment, so Python will not take it into account when rendering the animation. We can intuit then that this scene will last 3 seconds, because the command self.add has no duration. It is immediate. We see that the video lasts exactly 3 seconds, which is the duration that marks in wait. If I change the wait to 1 second, then the animation will last 1 second. Now we will create an animation in which the text appears at the beginning. There is a 1 second pause, and then it disappears. To remove an object from the screen, use the command self.remove and parenthetically the name of the object that you want to remove. The structure of the code is this. Create a text type object, then add it to the screen. Then there is a 1 second pause. Then remove the object from the screen. And you end up with a pause of 1 more second. This animation must last 2 seconds. is exactly what it lasts. Returning to the previous animation of the fading, the animations inside the play comment already have a predefined duration. However, this duration can be modified if we change the runtime parameter. To this parameter, you have to indicate the seconds you want the animation to last. In this case, if the wait is 1 second long and the fading is 3 seconds long, then the scene will be 4 seconds long. As an exercise, I recommend you to play with the duration of the animations. If you want to find more animations of this style, you can find them in the animations folder which is in the manimleaf folder. Manimleaf slash animations. Specifically, the animations that show or remove objects on the screen are in the creation.py file. Here are the codes of the animation we have seen. Right, grow from center, fading, etc. Finally, we will see what the fade from from down animation does. Here we will finish the second part of this tutorial. In the next video, we will see how to specify the position of the objects on the screen, to rotate them and to use different types of source in the texts.